All right, Malachi Moore is Alabama defensive back. He'll be in that 8A game tomorrow, and he joins us now on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. What is up, Malachi? How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. How are y'all? Man, we're doing awesome. Thanks a lot. Um, what What is your expectation? We were just talking about the crowd for 8A. You expect a packed stadium? I mean, that's what they did when Nick Saban came a bunch of years ago when you were barely a toddler. But, uh, I mean, what do you expect? I expect it to be the biggest 8A we didn't have. I feel like um, the fan base is really excited about the new coaching staff and everybody excited to just see how we how we go out there and perform under a new coach. You're, you're a unicorn of, of, of sorts when we talk about a guy coming back for, for his fifth year at one program. I mean, we talk about the portal all the time. I mean, it's just dizzying. I'm, I'm sure it is for you guys as players, seeing who's around you on the roster for coaches. But we're talking about it every single day. Um, I mean, what leads you to stay at a program for five years? Is it just pure love for the University of Alabama? Because we just don't see this with a lot of today's athletes. Right. Um, I do love the University of Alabama, but I just think it's something that um, I've never really done a lot. I've never really, like, transferred schools a lot, no matter, like, my situation. And I kind of just see things through and kind of just um, – just go through the process, uh, you know, going to the University of Alabama, not always the easiest thing to do and the easiest thing to go through. But I think it's been the best place for me so far as growing as a person and uh, a player on the field. We played a soundbite from uh, earlier this week of you after practice talking about the difference in schemes from last year's staff to this year's staff and how your eyes will be more on the ball and in the backfield. Uh, you said it took you a couple of weeks to adjust to a new style. Uh, is that pretty yeah. universal for everyone on the defense and even the offense? Is there the transition? Has it surprised you that it's been easier or more difficult than you thought? Uh, I would say like the first week was a little little bit more difficult than I thought just because um, even though our scheme on defense is simpler, like everybody has to do their do their job and it comes down to the little details in this defense that we have in now uh, just because if somebody's not doing their job, then it, it affects everybody on the field. And I just think that got some time to get used to. And uh, the more reps we got at it, the more we got comfortable with it. And um, it's been fun. Each week we've been getting better and better and more comfortable with the defense. And it's kind of – we're kind of starting to put our little spin on things just because we we feel um, comfortable with, with knowing our job and uh, knowing what to get on the field. Alabama's Malachi Moore with us on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. I knew Kane Womack uh, before he came to Alabama. Okay. He's a laid-back guy, as nice a guy as you'll ever meet. I have a difficult time envisioning him chewing a player out. Describe for me Kane Womack in practice. Yeah, Co- Coach Wo, um, you know, he, he brings that energy to practice. Uh, he always challenges us to be the best defense in the country each and every day, and um, – he definitely, he definitely get on the guy. When I first met him, I couldn't see it, but uh, when it when it first happened, I'm like, okay, like he got that side to him that uh, you know you want as a player, you want a coach that's gonna uh, get onto you when you're not living up to the standard or playing to the standard. And um, yeah, Coach, coach Rose has been great for us. So tell us the difference between playing the star and now playing just flat out safety. I would say the biggest difference is the depth I have in the field uh, as star. I was more used to playing up close to the line of scrimmage, six yards off the receiver and things of that nature. But at safety, you know, you got to be deepest to deepest and just coming down in the run fits from 25 yards back is very different from filling the C gap from six yards back. And so it just took me a little bit of time. Uh, I would say like that, that first kind of week just to get my eyes right and get the feel for everything. But since then, it's been, it's been a good transition for me and it's been a lot of fun. And see, I love you in the run game. I love the way you tackle. You're a physical player, uh, so you yeah. you'll still be part of of the run fits. You're 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 not not out of that part, right? Because I love seeing you hit people. Yeah, yeah. I'm not I'm not out of that part. I'm not out of that part. But I will be in the uh, the deep part of the field sometimes, and just mixing up a little little bit of everything, being man coverage and on number three in the slot, and then coming down in the box and playing a run. Well, tell me, tell me about the, the young guys in, in this recruiting class, the, the Mbakwe's and the other guys who have come in there. You, you know, game knows game. You've been there a long time. Do these guys have right. the, uh, the elite skill set it takes to be in the SEC? 
Yeah, I think I think this is probably one of the most um talented group of group of recruits that we've had come in. Uh, just to see the way that they go about their business uh, at a, such an early age. Like, they're still, still supposed to be in high school. And just to see them um, essentially be a sponge to everything that's going around them and sucking up all the information they can, asking me questions, um, going up there, watching extra film, and really trying to understand the nuances of college football. It's, it's been a great transition. And I think um, those guys are doing everything they can each and every day to get better and uh, it's going to be fun for them in the long run. Malachi Moore with us on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. Um, is there an old rivalry because of the two schools you went to with you and Mbakwe? Uh, no, nah, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say it was no rivalry. Uh, maybe we was in high school, but uh, we kind of just look at it like we both are in the same area, so we both got to put on for, for our respective <laughs> cities. Hey, so the three of us have been doing a show 14-plus years, and this is the first April we've talked more Alabama basketball than Alabama football. Um, you being an Alabama fan, what was the journey like watching Nate Oates and those guys make that final four run to Phoenix? Oh man, it was it was a special it was a special thing to watch just to see how they uh, just came together each and every game, and even when people doubted them, they would would always go out there and uh, prove everybody wrong. And uh, we was proud of those guys. We were rooting them on and uh, wishing the best for them. But I feel like the best is yet to come, and and they had a great year. I'm interested. The new college football video game from EA Sports is coming out July 19th. You're in the game. Uh, you're getting a little money to be in the game. Um, you know, not a ton, but a little money at least. But would you have said? Would you have signed off being in the game even if they didn't pay you a little money? Because just to see you in a video game is something I think I would have done for free. How did you approach that? Uh, yeah, I would have done it for free too. I'm not gonna lie, just because. Uh, the last time it came out was in 2014, and actually, uh, my brother was playing around one summer while I was playing a game, and accidentally knocked over my Xbox, and so like it scratched my disc all the way up, and like I couldn't buy the game nowhere else. Ooh. So I ain't been able to play NCAA for like since like 2014, 2015. Are you talking and to just him? Just to be a part. Of it. <laughs> you said what? Are you still talking to your brother? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I was I was mad at him when it happened. I'm not gonna lie, just because I knew they weren't making the uh, <laughs> I knew they weren't making another copy of the game. So I was a little a little heated about that. But um, yeah, yeah, I think it's gonna be a cool experience just for it to come out again. Uh, for the first time in a long time and to be a part of the game, I would I would have did it for free. Yeah, see, I um whether whether I'm doing Madden or back in the college game, I would I'd make myself be the coach and I would try to get my body type to um and my hair to which is none to look like the coach. And I could never get myself to look like the coach on there. I would imagine you would struggle the same way. Do you think that did yeah. they take pictures of you likeness wise and are you, you think you'll be able when they when the helmet's off you think you'll be able to say that looks like me? Uh, I hope so. It would be cool if they did like a like an actual scan of of all the players in the game. I think I think that would be something cool. I really I really hope they just get my tattoos on the game. If they get my tattoos on the game, then I'll be okay with that. Uh, that would be crazy. Uh, you know, like Nick Saban <laughs> Nick Saban's statue. Let's be honest, that doesn't really look like Nick Saban that much. <laughs> a little bit. A yeah. little bit. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, are you done with tattoos though? Like, if you're constantly updating, they can't constantly update. Um, I don't know. I just I got both my arms done. I got two arm sleeves, but um, I would think about getting some on my leg this year. But I don't, I don't really know. Yeah, you're out of right arms. Out of yeah. Ideas. yeah, you're out of arms. We gotta save go. It, another... Save it for a championship. If you get a championship, maybe throw that on there yeah. somewhere. Yeah, I'm gonna throw that on there for sure. Yeah. yeah. All right, man. Thank you, Malachi. We appreciate the time. Nice talking with you. Thank y'all. All right, take care. That is Malachi Moore, the Alabama defensive back with us on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline as he gets ready for A-Day coming up.